Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we've got the JJRC Pride. Yes, yeah, another JJRC drone, another GPS drone. This one's brushed. It's got a full title which I put up in the description. Um, you'll see in the description for the video of what its actual proper name is. But they've, they've gone to call it everything names like there was a heaven and then there was a smart. Now they've got the pride. So this is what you get in the box. Yeah, a really boring cardboard box. But then you get. A nice little case. So it does come in this nice little case when you buy it. I didn't know, I didn't expect it to come in a case. I was quite shocked when, I, when it arrived like that. And this is what you get in the case. So you get a spare set of props, a complete set, a set of prop guards, instruction manual, instruction manual for the app, and a quick start guide that's in Chinese, which is useful for me, the drone itself, and the controller. And then this really nice little case, which is good. So let's have a look at the drone first. Folding drone, brushed motors, geared. Your typical thing, it's kind of sparkish looking. 1080p camera, not adjustable from the transmitter. You just adjust it before you take off. It does 25 frames per second, 1080p, but it'll have a low bit rate. So I'd imagine the camera will look like it looks on these drones and that's what you're going to get for your money so the drone itself weighs about that 170 grams I think it was it's quite light it has a you go so it has a 2S 900 milliamp hour battery proprietary slides in the back and charges by via a USB cable battery goes in here Put it right around, yep. It is quite tight to go in, push it in, click down here, make a contact on and off switch on the top. So obviously LEDs underneath, which I'll show you when I turn it on in a minute. And then this is the controller. So the controller looks similar to the ASM uh, CGO33 and a little bit like the Bayang Toys X28, but it's slightly different in the way in these lovely fake antennas and the way the buttons are set up. So, GPS on or off, so if you hold the button for three seconds it turns your GPS mode off. Headless mode, return to home, take off and land. Your speed button and your camera button. Really simple, nice simple controller. Actually, I don't mind, this. I hate the phone holder because it's the same as the Yashim ones, but at least this one goes much bigger, so you can get a bigger phone and it doesn't seem to want to snap my phone in half when I put it in. So, it is better but I still don't like it. So the controller itself runs on three AA batteries, four AA batteries, sorry, yeah, four AA batteries. Again, I wish it had a charge port. So this, I got this for 60 quid, so I think they're a little bit more now, but if you, you'll always find one of these things on a flash sale for that kind of money. They're always gonna come down. They're never gonna be that expensive, are they, when you see them? So, yeah. I think you get what you pay for, don't you? And it is a brushed drone. The reason I bought this one is because I'd bought the other JJRCs. I quite like this controller. I wanted to see what it was like in my hand. Um, that's the main reason I bought it, actually, because it was something a little bit different, and it's JJRC. So, let's see how we go with it. So let's just turn it on, and I'll show you the... It lit up, single press on the top, brings your lights on at the bottom. Long press on the controller, and then up and down with throttle button. There you go. It's now bound. The reason they're flashing is because you've got to do a GPS calibration on this type, this every time you fly it. So I'll see if it'll go, knock it off. So the first set of lights have gone off. Nose down till it beeps again. There you go. Calibrated. Well, obviously it isn't because I'm indoors, but it thinks it's done its calibration because it's been through the sequence. So, that's how you calibrate it. LEDs on the bottom, reds and blues. Reds on the front. I don't know why people keep doing this. Blues on the back. Um, but, yeah. And here you got, so this is your transmitter. Can you see that? So, on here you have a variety of things. So, it'll show you your speed, your distance, your height, your, your satellite information battery voltage so if you notice it's flashing see that 
So one's a drone, one's a controller. Now the lower one hopefully is, yeah the lower one is. So the 4.6 are the batteries in here and the 7.5 is the batteries in the drone. This says it's got 12 to 14 minutes flight time. We'll see on the flight when I do a review and see what it's like. I've done the flight video but I quite like it, you know. I quite like the look of it. I think for the money it looks okay. Um, I'm hoping it's better than some of the other GPS drones I've done because I did a similar, the Idea 7 looked similar to this, I hated it so I don't know if you remember that, if you've seen it on the video, it was an orange thing um, it wasn't good at all and then I've done the SG900S and the Vizio and I probably follow that's the drone, that's the controller as I say, I like the feel of it in my hand, I think it feels really nice um, the speed, I like the where the buttons are, I don't like this but the control actually feels nice, these feel nice and springy, sometimes these can feel really sloppy so I'd imagine it's probably not going to fly too bad with this controller, a fake antennas, come on people, get rid of them I don't know why they put them on, just leave it blank at the top, you don't need the antennas, it looks much better if you didn't have anything on the top so that's it, so thanks, oh again, before I go, I was just about to go there, let me show you the app completely forgot so let's just connect it up so they the connect it to JJRC if you see that JJRC ATDB is the drone itself connect that and the app you want is called JJRC TST so they've got one app that kind of does everything I'll show you when we go into it so, and it is actually a different app, it's quite clever actually, so... Nah, I've gone all the way out of the app. So, this is the app. Now, the app's different for different things, and I'll show you what I mean. So, H27 is that, so if I open the app on that, the app's totally different than the app I'm, I'm going to show you for the GPS. It's quite a nice app actually. So I go down to this, and I think it's called... H78G, I can never remember, that's the proper name for this so H78G, click on to it and hopefully I don't know why the app is showing upside down it's obviously something to do with my phone, anyway so that's the app so on here, these are normally the right way around, I've no idea where it's put upside down. So you can control it with a phone, or your controller. You watch your playback and video through here, and obviously start and stop your video, and enter your modes. We'll do more of that when I do a flight test to show you the, the other modes on here, but not today. So, the one thing I will say about this app, the screen display looks nice and sharp. There is a bit of lag, obviously. Cause it, but it is 1080p. The camera's 1080p and it's 720 coming back to here. So, the only thing that I'm not going to like about this drone is it does no SD card. So it records back to your phone. Now, that doesn't sound too bad, but the problem you've got is as soon as the app freezes, and it's going to, of course, you're going to not have any video footage to show because it's just going to crash out. So be a bit aware of that and we'll see what it's like in the flight video so thanks very much for watching i'm going this time and i'll see you all soon